Alright guys, this is Doc M and I'm here on the Hermitcraft server and yeah, time to do the tutorial for the secret Schalke box base entrance I showed you last time in the last episode, in episode 29 of the Hermitcraft Let's Play of the Season 5. Yes indeed. So yeah, that's the thing I made last time. It's disguised as a tower and yeah, it looks pretty unsuspicious. You can climb up here and get up on the tower, do your thing and um, yeah, you have this Schalke box down there and if you stand on it and look into it nothing will happen, you can also check it out like that, nothing will happen the key is to flick down this trapdoor and then you just stand on there, look down and you end up in your secret area of your base and yeah, to get back up again, really simple, you just stand in here and flip and go. Yep. And it's closed again. And we have rotating Schalke boxes in there. So really nifty and neat uh, setup. In our case, here it's in the jungle, but of course you can disguise it in all kinds of ways. It's relatively compact. Um, nice redstone built. And yeah, let's jump to a creative test world and I show you the redstone behind it and how to make it. Alright guys, and here we are on the Sidecraft test server and I'm here with Methods again. Hi man! Hey. <laughs> this becomes a thing. Doc and Method doing tutorials. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lots of stuff going on here over there. Mango is doing some stuff with music. <laughs> I don't know, it's crazy. Um, yeah, in any case, this is the redstone behind the secret Schalker box entrance and yeah let's quickly do a demonstration so method hops in and you go down as shown on the hermitcraft and if you wanna go back up pablemo this is how that works works like a charm works every time yeah and it's relatively simple um, and quite compact for what it does it's a quite quite a lot of stuff is going on the key uh, with that setup is of course that um, if you want to go back down, you know, that's easy. That you not need no redstone for that. But if you want to go back up, um, obviously you need some redstone magic because, yeah, the Schalke box needs to be out of the way and then placed back again. And as you cannot push around Schalke boxes with pistons, as they break, um, it gets a bit complicated. But yeah, this is the whole dealio. It's not that big. So I'd say let's jump into a block to uh, block by block tutorial and let's build that thing together. All right, guys. So um, I guess we start with where the Schalke box is supposed to go, and yeah, you need to place a block to put it on. And it's important that you always place the Schalke box facing upwards, and we need to include that in our mechanic here. Um, we're gonna place the Schalke box with a dispenser, so make sure to put a dispenser back here facing into the, the Schalke box, right? And then you can remove this block again and yeah, then uh, um, we can, let's say, install the catching mechanism, mechanism for the Schalke box and you do that on the side here. So obviously we're up in the air so it's a bit tedious to build but what you do is you place a dropper here facing up and you place a hopper here facing into this dropper and a hopper there. Um, that is used to cycle the minecart around. So yeah, put a rail on there. Um, maybe you can do that method, right? And yeah, hop a minecart and go ahead. You don't have to, but you can break this so the rail. Will get rail. sucked out by the slime block the first time it activates anyway. Yep. So yeah, remove it. Better that. And now we need some more piston stuff going on. Um, whoop, let's come back here. Put some helper blocks down and then you put two pistons, sticky pistons down like so and on this one put solid blocks and behind these pistons just go ahead another sticky piston with a redstone block and yeah this makes sure uh, this piston gets retracted or this block gets retracted when the minecart is broken and uh, yeah that is key because sometimes it can be a bit inconsistent so you have to retract it and this block here is the one that pushes you over when you get shot back up uh, from the mechanism and yeah, the problem there is if you don't push yourself out and over um, you can sometimes get stuck in the Schalke box um, sometimes it works 
but yeah, it's a certain inconsistency to it. So yeah, you need this one. Last but not least, you also want one piston below here. And yeah, now you can remove this helper block and put the piston here. Um, that is pretty much extracted to be um, in a way so when the Schalke box is placed, it's actually facing the right way. You know, comes out um, when the Schalke box is placed and uh, make sure it's orientated correctly. And in the end then, you also need a piston here on the side because you want to break the Schalke box and for that you need a little bit of a slime block here that goes right there and that's the slime block that will break the Schalke box when activated and that's the basic piston setup and yeah now we can wire that all up alright guys so let's go behind the setup here and the first thing you want to do why do I have a sword in my inventory I don't know place a full block behind uh, the dispenser here and a repeater on four ticks and then you come up like that down very simple and on the other side you go down again and we can already if you want to hook up um, the redstone or the pistons for the launcher below so wait give me a slime block Brup. so just put the um, piston here in this gap two slime blocks and a redstone block down below here then you put a redstone dust here and um, you come in with a repeater right here and go up and this repeater has to be on let me check the three three like so and yeah then we can go around and wire here this setup because we have Schalke boxes rotating and yeah break this block out block here block there and a repeater here on max delay facing into this side of the hopper dropper connection there that's a hopper dropper elevator pretty much and yeah now we need to wire um, this braking block here or the braking piston on the side and yeah don't forget to put a redstone dust on top right here and then um, yeah we just come along you go up and create this little gap here where we later have a little bit of a redstone tower you come around like this and you go down and up so you build this little yeah, staircase thingy and now you need a piece of track put that here and you need a repeater um, on the basic setting right in there um, so we butt power this piston here and then update it with the rail and yeah now we can already start to hook up the trigger mechanism to do that just need some torches and yeah you can see the um, circuit is already firing and you go down one more put another torch here and um, yeah now just need to go over like so what are you doing up there oh, fixing things <laughs> <laughs> yeah when you trigger it um, you might have to realign some pistons and stuff but it's not a problem and yeah last but not least the observer I often say last but not least when I do tutorials don't know why just feels right okay yeah and then whatever you want to use to trigger I use a um, yeah, trapdoor here it just works fine and that's already yeah, the basic redstone mechanic done. We um, forgot one block yeah. and that is right here. Oh yeah, sure, we need to wire over there. Okay, don't forget this block here. Okay, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, now if you put Schalke boxes in, let's grab some. Um, whatever you want to use, white ones. So you put um, one right here to place that. You probably want to have some random block here. Put the Schalke box down. Then you put one in here in the dispenser and yeah you put a last one right there yep which is already in and yeah then you have this rotation and yeah if you activate now you can see Schalke box gets broken and placed back again 
always make sure, of course, where slime blocks move, you have to have um, immovable blocks like melon or whatever. You can also use some pistons, powered pistons, they look cool, or obsidian, whatever you want to use. Um, you saw how I disguised stuff on the Hermitcraft. Terracotta. terracotta, yeah. You can have a normal block here that doesn't matter. Um, it's gonna be moved with the slime, but it doesn't interfere with the machine. And of course, uh, you need to have, you know, above your secret entrance, you need to have a full block. Or, like I did it on the Hermitcraft, you can also use this trapdoor and, you know, flip it up and down, whatever you wanna do. Um, you saw that in the Hermitcraft episode. And yeah, lastly, of course, we wanna build our launcher here. That's very simple. Just. Um, yeah, the launcher right there, a few redstone dots on there and a slime block. And that already completes the setup. Now you can pretty much stand on here and uh, launch yourself up. Well, I just uh, realized I placed the dispenser here. I said dropper though, it's gotta be a dropper, that's important. Um, while I was testing the machine, this just didn't work. I was like, what the heck is going on? So it's a dropper. I told you in the tutorial, I don't know why I placed the dispenser. Um, but yeah. That um, pretty much concludes uh, the tutorial for the setup. Now, of course, you can have uh, different variations um, with this thing. Um, for example, down here, um, if you're lining up, it's not the worst thing to have a trapdoor right here. Uh, one high. Yeah. Oh, well, it doesn't matter actually. No, it doesn't the matter. Trapdoor could just move. Yeah, you here. can have it here because sometimes you might miss a line a little bit and then the setup could fail but yeah you could have a trapdoor right here helping you out a bit and um, there's one thing you can do as well like if you use the trapdoor setup like I did you know and disguise this as a ladder going up you really want to have this thing be resetted right when you when you're in the in the setup because otherwise people might see what's going on if you have this thing down so a simple way to do it you can always complicate stuff is um, right here you bring in um, a repeater um, for a redstone update right there and you see it would flick down so that's not really what we want we want this thing to stay up so it's also a bug right yeah yeah you can you can just build out here and say put a redstone torch on there and some redstone like that and now it would go up and you can send updates into this guy here and one easy way to do it is let's say you shut yourself down and you want to walk out and you just have a pressure plate here or something and from that pressure plate you can also do it below you bring um, you bring the power out and wire it up to this redstone um, here however you want to do it a good way to do it is for example yeah use a, a tower like that and yeah we need one more just have to make sure that your top torch is on. Yeah. So you know, the torch more or less, but yeah, and it's then up to you. yeah, and then you just wire in here, and then whenever you know you flip this down and um, walk off, yeah, it gets reset. But that's just optional. You don't really need that um, if you work with a full block on top or something like that. Um, the downside is when you have a pressure plate here, uh, you should move this uh, yeah, uh, trapdoor up because uh, it will also get reset and flip down. <laughs> so that's a bit annoying. But yeah, that's it. That's the tutorial for the setup. Uh, quite easy to easy build, I would say. Looks cool. And yeah, from here on out, you know, you can then disguise it however you want, build that into the wall whatever you just need to make sure here actually you should not have a movable block so i suggest you know doing the entrance like that somehow and you can use carpets and whatever you know that's up to you how you want to disguise this as you see on the hermitcraft server i made it into a watchtower and in our jungle that works out pretty well <coughs> yeah and i'd say that's it um of course you can also replace this trapdoor here with a button or something use a different input, it doesn't matter um, as long as you have the observer in front and get a two tick pulse out. And yeah, that's it. Anything else to notice? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Can you show the cool trick method? The one I showed you? Yeah. Passion, one sec. Let me know what you think about this, guys. Should this be 
an in-game Minecraft feature. Look. Okay, we have a terracotta slab in a stair. Oh, baby. Wouldn't you love to have that, huh? <laughs> Did I mention that it works with all kinds of redstone too? <laughs> yep. Oh, baby. I think we really need that, guys. That should be in vanilla. Yep. 100%. Absolutely. So. It would be the biggest lifesaver ever since Schalker boxes. Yeah. I mean, Schalker boxes were a step in the right direction. And now this would be the greatest thing ever. Yep. Big game changer. And um, yeah, the modification is ready for the game. And we thought about if we should do a push for it and maybe invite a developer or so and show him that. But yeah, give me some feedback about that. I mean, right now, that's his Nembon's carpet mod. Um, um, I'll wait. go to him. Yeah, yeah. Nendrom is, is the man. I mean, also part of Absolute the Cycraft software. Absolute master when it comes to that stuff. Uh, at the moment, it's a cactus. The cactus is uh, rotating stuff, and it, um, yeah. This Maybe is just because the game is out of uh, out of ID, so we actually don't have an ID to add a new tool or anything. Yeah, but so we just probably have to use an, an item that's already existent, and we choose the cactus because it's not easily placeable everywhere. Yeah. Potentially, yeah, you know, we were thinking maybe the hoe could be the tool that has that uh, functionality, right-clicking on stuff, and then you can just rotate things however you want, but I think that would be amazing. Let us know what you think about that. And yeah, with that said, I'd say we see you next time. Have a great weekend. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.